learning how to throw a knife is the equivalent of learning a difficult instrument violin, piano, it's the same premise. You have to learn how to move your hands in a series of complicated movements. In order to make something respond in a certain way, depending on the distance. Now, every knife thrower should know that once the knife leaves your hand, it's already determined. It's like that quantum physics uh, Heisenberg uncertainty principle or, the, or Schindler's cat, my bad, or whatever it's, whatever it's called, Chessinger's cat, where they put it in a box. You don't know if it's live or dead. There's a 50% chance. I'm butchering that stuff, but it's the same principle. As soon as the knife leaves your hand, it's already determined whether it's going to stick or not. And it's on the knife thrower to just understand that. Most people's eyes are focused on the target. When I throw my knife, I'm concentrating on what I'm doing, way, the way I'm moving. The target is just something that's there, but most of my focus is on that movement right before the knife leaves my hand. And since I throw many knives, I'm just trying to replicate, mimic that movement for the next volley of throws, but it gets complicated, especially if you're not drawing the knife from the exact spot where you originally draw the first one. Even if it's off by an inch or two, you're gonna have to compensate.